Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time here, welcome. I'm glad to have you here. Well, today I'm gonna to be talking trash. I have a lot of stuff that I've gone through and I know it's been like a hot minute. I have two, two bags here to go through. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna get everything organized and I will be right back. Okay, this segment is gonna be deloaded, devoted, deloaded to laundry care and what I've been using over the past, I think it's been almost three months, maybe, I don't know, but it's been a while, you guys, two or three months. So I have a lot of stuff here. I do a lot of laundry. I think we all do a lot of laundry. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with fabric softener. I finished up a downy, and I think this one is just in the regular scent. Usually when it has the pink label, it is. Yeah, it's the, or the pink cap. It's April Fresh, and I do love my downy. And I think I got this one at a pretty good deal. I picked this one up from Walmart. Another fabric softener I went through, and I picked this up from Family Dollar. And I do remember I only paid $6 for this. I had their in-app store coupons that you can get through Family Dollar. And so this was a really good deal. I've never tried Swivetol. And if I have, it's, it's, or Suavitil, Suave, yeah, Suavitil. <laughs> if I have, it's been a while. And you know what? This worked out really good. I just, I'm looking on the back here and it's made by Colga Colgate Palm Olive Company. I didn't know that. So yeah, good to know. It had a great, it had a great scent. <clears throat> it was a great price. And I liked it just as much as Downey. I think I like Downey just a little bit better. But for the price, <clears throat> I couldn't beat it. Okay, another fabric softener I went through <clears throat> is from uh, Snuggle. And I actually had an Ibotta coupon to go with this one, so that's why I picked this one up. It's Snuggle Exhilarations with Lavender and Vanilla or Orchid. And it did smell really good. Yes, yes, yeah, this one smells really, really good. I would definitely repurchase this one again. And I bought this one, not Barry. Usually it's Barry that goes after the snuggle, but this time I bought this one. So yeah, I liked that one. All right. And then in other laundry care, I finished up a box of Tide. You know me, I love my Tide. I love my Tide powder. I think it gets your clothes super clean. But I also suggest that if you're... Um, washing machine has an extra rinse cycle on it to take advantage of that. I just started doing that over the past month and I've noticed that my clothes are cleaner and there's less soap residue. And when you use a Tide powder, they're super clean. So I really like this. This has actually got some in it. I bought a large container of this um, from Sam's Club and it's I'm still working on it. So what I do is I take some of that and I put it in here so that it'll fit inside my wash machine cabinet that's underneath the wash machine. So that's how I do that. And this one is just a regular, just regular Tide. Now I have some leftover dryers. I use these up. These I found down in my underneath my my washer machine where I keep the drawers and this was kind of a corroded box of bounce so I was able to get through this one. I don't always use dryer sheets most of the time I just use fabric softener but I decided to use these up. I went through a washer with tub of Scentsy's um, Ocean. I love this. I quite enjoyed this one. I used this on my sheets and towels. Mm. It smells so good. And I really could smell the fragrance pull through when I threw them in the dryer. So, <clears throat> and that was without anything. So, I like this. I like their washer whiffs. They're kind of spendy. This is like $30, but I got this one on clearance. I think I only paid $21 for this one on clearance when I bought it. So, if you shop the clearance sections, sometimes with Scentsy, they'll have really good deals on washer whiffs. Or you can... You can pay full price, put them in your club, and get them half off even if you want to use them as a half off item. This one is not available 
I don't know if I said that, but this one is not available. Um, so yeah, but it smells amazing. All right, and then I went through a container of OxyClean. I love OxyClean for brightening up my whites. It just it just does an amazing job with whites, with white socks, underwear, t-shirts, anything like that that's white. <clears throat> I really, really like this a lot. It's it's great. And then from Scentsy, I went through a black raspberry vanilla sample in the their um Scent Soft and in their laundry liquid. It worked out pretty well, but I really couldn't smell the black raspberry vanilla when I was drying it. I'm thinking that you have to use the whole system in order to get that scent. But I've used these before and I've really enjoyed these. They get your clothes nice and clean. So yeah, I made it through that one. All right, now we're gonna go on to the dishes. We finished up a very large container of palm olive in the, it's antibacterial. But what I thought, and it was orange, and what I thought was amazing about this, it kind of smells like peaches or apricots. It really does. You know, you would think it'd be kind of citrusy, but it wasn't. It was, it smells like peaches or apricots with maybe some citrus. I really like the scent on this and um, I really enjoyed this one. So yeah, it did take us a while. We um, used up a bottle of Dawn and so what I would do is just put some of this in here. And this is apple blossom scent. I actually had two of these that I went through. One of the bottles got thrown away. So I went through two of those and then I just repurposed it with that. Trying to make room here. And then for the dishwasher, I got this from Family Dollar. These are the Homeline dishwasher packs. And I was really impressed. Right now I'm using Cascade liquid, just a regular Cascade. And I think this one is doing better than the Cascade liquid. Um, so yeah, I really like these. I will definitely repurchase again. All right, then we have Lysol. And this is all-purpose cleaner. I really enjoyed this. I go through a lot of this. I really like this a lot. I like to spray down my kitchen sink especially and just let it set before I do the dishes. I like to spray it on my counters, my fridge, um, door handles, anything like that. You have to let it set for a few minutes then you wipe it off and then carry on. And then I went through some Swiffers. I have something else in here. I went through some Swiffers and this is the heavy duty pet ones. I like these because they were nice and fluffy and they really picked up a lot of dust. And then from the dollar store, Family Dollar, I picked up these trash bags, the kitchen size. I didn't like these. Um, I thought they were too flimsy and I was glad to have them done. <laughs> I, don't, I do not recommend these at all. Don't buy these. Please don't buy these. All right. So every now and then I like to go to the, the Dollar Tree and pick up a few things. And the last time I was at the Dollar Tree, I'll just pick out some of the Dollar Tree items. I picked up some emery boards. These were pink. They worked out really good. Um, I quite enjoyed those. They were like the double-sided thick ones. Um, so yeah, I went through those. And then I know this is not body care related, but I love, this is just one bag. I didn't save any more, but I love to buy dog treats for my dogs. And I got these canine carry outs, the taco minis. They love these. <laughs> they also make some that look like T-bone steaks and hot dogs and sausages. And I think what they're trying to do is appeal to us humans, because I think that's what that's all about. But yeah, so I like to buy their little dog treats there. <clears throat> All right. First, I went through some cosmetic rounds, and I really, really like these. They're latex-free. Um, yeah, just really, really good. Okay, and then I went through uh, Scentsy Soak in pineapple coconut vanilla. 
yes, yes, you better believe it. We love this stuff. It's great. It just relaxes you and your, um, the Eps it has like Epsom salts in it and just makes you feel better. And your bathroom smells great. Um, it gently colors the water purple, but it doesn't stay that way. And it does foam up just a little bit. Um, Patricia Gates from Nose to Toes talked about this one. She said this is the one that kind of foams up a little bit more than the other ones. It's true. It does for some reason. Um, and we really, really like that one. Okay. And then what else from Scentsy did I use up? Did I have something else? Yes. From Scentsy, I finished a hand soap in Lucky in Love. This was kind of an older one, but I was able to get through it. And I quite enjoyed this one. I love their hand soap. Um, yes. Yeah. This one's no longer available with Scentsy, but I know their hand soap in general is very, very good. Very good quality. Okay, and then I was able to, well, I just threw these out. Um, a couple nail polishes, they just got kind of loopy, but I really, really did enjoy them. This is the Extreme Wear from Sally Hansen's, and it's the sparkly one. And I'm just wondering if the sparkly um, nail polishes you know, last as long as the other ones. And I think because they have all of that other, all the other fibers and stuff in them, they just don't last as long. And this is Sally Hansen's Insta Dry. So, yeah. So I was, I just stopped using these, but when I, when I did use them, they were, they were a lot of fun. I'm trying to think where to put these. I'm kind of getting accumulation here. Okay. And then I went through some shampoos. I finished up an orchid, Orchid oil in, um, is it OGX? Yeah, this is actually a shampoo. <clears throat> I found that it kind of dried out my hair a little bit, though. So it did take me a while to use it. I would use this one if I wanted to kind of like strip some of the crud off my hair. Um, but yeah, not bad. And then I went through a coconut milk shampoo. In the same company, OGX, and it's kind of the the trial size. These are nice to take if you're going out of town or something like that, or if you're Barry and you like to buy trial sizes. I think that's where that one came from. Okay, and then I finished up a couple packages of razors. I got these at Family Dollar. They had one of their in-store app coupons where you could pick these up. Okay, this is what I have to say about the the Venus Simply Three, you guys. Do not buy these razors. They're crappy. I mean, they are crappy. I did not like them. They, no, they did not work very well. And the same with um, the Bic Flex 4. Do not buy these. I think this is what you could, it looks like on the back. And this is what these look like on the back. Yeah. Anyway, I just wasn't impressed, you guys. They were cheap and I thought, oh, I got a good deal on these. I got a coupon. No, no, <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. They're not worth it. Okay. And then Barry went through a Benadryl allergy. Pretty self-explanatory. And then I went through a melatonin gummies, the five milligrams. I don't take these all the time, but I do take these. And these work great. And these are made by Spring Valley. So... I'm kind of a kid at heart. I like my gummies. And then I went through a deodorant and suave fresh. This was pretty good stuff. Yep. I buy suave. It works. And then I went through a face wash. This is the regenerating daily cleanser. This was really good. Scooby hears the neighbor dog barking. Sorry, bud. I know. This is really good. This is a Walmart version of, I think it's compared to Olay Regenerist Cleanser. So yeah, it worked out pretty good. And then I went through a face cream of the L'Oreal Re Revital Lift, I guess. Yeah, I really enjoyed that one. Um, it's got like a sunscreen in it. 
I'm already working on my other one. So that's how well I like this. I like this a lot. It does, uh, whoops. It does a really good job moisturizing my skin. All right. And then I was able to go through a dial bar soap in the, I think it's the berries. It's a berry. It's kind of like a glycerin soap. I showed it last time in my last empties. But anyway, it's, it was really good. It's like a red clear soap. Um, it's just like very, very good. Very good. But I went through a bar of that. And then in the shampoo, I was able to finish the Joico Hydra Splash. Boy, there's a lot of glare there. It's pretty shiny. I really enjoyed this. I like this one a lot. So, yeah, it's great for blonde hair. It's great for fine hair. Um, and it, it helps your color. And then I went through a Skin So Soft from Avon in the oil. I like this, you guys. It's good stuff. Um, I put this right into my bath um, water, my running bath water, and that's where I use it most of the time. It's good stuff, and it's the original scent. This will take me a while to get through, and this one did. This one took me about seven months to use up, but I really enjoyed that one. Okay, I'm going to try not to drag out this video too long. Sorry. And then we have Tresemme Hairspray. This is really good. It's their, looks like their number four level. So I don't like my hair like helmet hair, you know, when you put the spray on and you go outside and your hair is still like in the same position it was in when you came back in. We did that back in the 80s, you know, with the big hair. We don't need to do that now. So I like the more natural look, I guess you could say. But yes, I was one of those girls that had the big hair. Yes, I did. <laughs> anyway, um, I like Tresemme in the number four. It's not helmet hair hairspray. It's It works great. It gives you a little uh, flexibility, but your hair stays in place. And then from Avon, I went through a bubble bath. And this one is Cucumber Melon. Very, very nice. This is... Um, yeah, I like this one a lot. Yes. Very fresh and clean smelling. So, yeah. That is that one. And sometimes they'll have really good deals and sales on their um, bubble bath. So, Barry went through a couple little things of scope. Because, you know, he likes the trial sizes. We have clean mint and we have the regular scope. Although I do have a full size scope in the in the back on the counter in the bathroom and he's been using it so yay Barry you've come a long way but anyway these are these and he finished up those all right and then I finished up a blush from Maybelline let me take it out or actually these this was a bronzer compact and it's the Maybelline New York series master contour and then I have my little brush and I used it clear to the so there was nothing there, pretty much. Um, yeah, I really, really enjoyed this one. So that one is done. All right, and then for Bath and Body Works, I was able to finish up a body spray in Snowy Peach Berry. This was so nice. I just used this year-round. I picked it up last fall, or probably closer to Christmas. I love it. You definitely get that woodsy cranberry note. It's snow-kissed cranberries, frosted peach blossom, and shimmering woods. So yeah, and I kind of like the sparkly package. I do have a hand soap still left in this one, so I'm looking forward to using that. But it's not a strong peach, and it's not a strong cranberry. It's just like somewhere in the middle, and the woods just kind of gives it that fresh quality to kind of tone down the fruitiness. So yeah, I really liked that one. All right. And then I went through some hand soaps. I finished up a strawberry pound cake. Yeah. And I finished up a peach bellini. This is in the foam. This is in the Lux. Yeah. I think it's the creamy Lux peach bellini. Really enjoyed that one. All of these are my first time using as hand soaps. So this was exciting. I went through a lakeside afternoon in the gentle gel. I don't know what to think about the gentle gel. I've got a few more bottles of it left. 
I don't know if I like it as well as the foaming hand soap or the creamy luxe. But you know what? I'm using it just the same. So Lakeside Afternoon, it was really, really nice. It's sun-soaked lavender dockside breeze and fresh rain. Yeah, it is very, very nice. Very fresh and clean, kind of a watery notes about it. And then I was able to finish Waikiki Beach. I love this, you guys. In my bathroom, I have flamingos going on. I have the fl a flamingo shower curtain. I've got a couple of flamingo pictures. I just kind of went flamingo crazy this summer. And then I've got some fun little rugs. Anyway, I had this in there. And it kind of matched the pink and the blue that I had going on in there anyway. And I just thought it was perfect. So Waikiki Beach Coconut, it's Dragon Fruit, Bamboo, and Coconut Jasmine. So there is that one. And then I went through a Boardwalk, yeah, Boardwalk Vanilla Cone. This one was good. Marshmallow Fluff, Vanilla Bean, and Creamy Caramel. So yeah, I have another bottle of this. I'm looking forward to using it. It's just a bakery goodness. Just good. You definitely get that marshmallow. Mm. Yes. Yep. I love it. Marshmallow fluff, vanilla bean, and creamy caramel. Very, very good. Very, very good. So, you guys, that's my trash. That's what's going on. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any comments, leave them down below. I love feedback. Hey, you guys, take care.